Hello, everyone. Thanks for um, joining us on this beautiful Wednesday. Um, greetings from across the Pacific. Today we are. Um, ah, crap! We didn't think of a a name for this yeah. segment. We did. Is this is this a spotlight on type thing? Oh well, we're not currently playing it. This is like a reflection. Okay. So let's um, reflect. Let's reflect. Um, today we're gonna <laughs> just so deeply reflect on what <laughs> I I would consider one of the greatest experiences I've ever had with the controller in my hand, which is The Last of Us DLC Left Behind. So um, I feel like okay. Just for the record, we never talk about the things beforehand that we're actually gonna talk about. <laughs> so. I feel yeah. like I feel like Wait. Jesse's opinion. Spoilers. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, this is do, so many spoilers. so many spoilers. So <laughs> <laughs> anything the last of us. So if you haven't played it yet. Why are you watching this video? Why do you exist? Right, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so I feel like you will have like not a really different opinion, but fairly different opinion. So I want you to go first. Just anything just just talk all about, about it. it. Yeah, tell me all about, about it. it. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, I kind of changed my mind since last time I what I said to you. Okay, okay. What did I say? It was you, boring? You thought it was boring, yeah. Okay. And my yeah. face was well, just like a... <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, that might be, be because of external sources. I started playing other games and just... I got taken out of the experience, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, then I, a couple of days ago, just played the rest of it. So, I've played all of it now. It definitely is like exactly like the last of us just more of it which some people can well, pretty much everybody's gonna say like that's good but in a way it kind of made me feel like it reinforced that i didn't want to see any more of the last of us okay just because i wanted it to be its own little thing and now they're kind of like here have some more <laughs> but I, it didn't need it because mm -hmm. It's like it's it's after you've played the main game, so that extra layer you get with Ellie doesn't matter because you've already played the game. Like, right. I feel like it only matters if they if there's a sequel and Ellie's in it, which they've already said many times that if they make a sequel, that Joel and Ellie won't be in it, well, or at I least it wouldn't. Like there wasn't. It wouldn't be about point. Joel and Ellie. That's what they said. Well then, that like that feel makes me feel like it was there's no point in it, right? Okay. Because it's like by the time it ended, it built her character, but you've already seen her character. <laughs> so what was the point? <laughs> like you're saying, you're saying it built her character up to a point that we already knew. Yes. Okay. It's usually, but usually you want to build the character and then experience how that character interacts and right. goes about living but you already have so the building up was okay led to nothing okay. <laughs> I don't know okay. but other like I guess some people have said that it's got some kind of more so than the main game it had forced like fighting because you have to like the entire w because like for pacing's sake obviously they felt like they needed to because they're good at pacing and it was paced well but because it was so short, it felt like they were forcing the gameplay on you. Because they had to. Okay. Like, it's almost like it's not a negative thing. Because if they didn't do that, then it would have just been you walking around, and then people would have been like, this isn't a game. <laughs> right. But, I don't know. I feel like they couldn't have won that situation. Yeah. So they had to, but it still felt kind of forced. Right. And then... I guess their relationship was interesting. Mm -hmm. And you know what? What? You spoiled it I'm for sorry. me. I'm <laughs> sorry. I just assumed that when you downloaded it, you would just play the whole... Like, it was like two hours. <laughs> I just played it through through in one sitting. <laughs> so you spoiled I, that for I me. I thought you had seen You're it. You're like, hey, remember how Ellie's a lesbian? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> what? Oh my, oh my god! Gosh, and then so I had—I wasn't even thinking that at all. And then, like, you tell me that, and I'm <laughs> like going through Twitter, and people are like, without spoiling anything, they're like, "Hey, let's talk about that thing about Ellie." And I'm like, "Wow, I wonder what that is." <laughs> so surprising. Yeah. 
But I don't think it really ruined it for me because when I got to it, it was still like surprising. Like, yeah. Because <laughs> I couldn't tell if you were serious for one. But... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's basically all I got out of it. Okay. So. so crazy. Well, I think I'm gonna hopefully, if I can make cohesive thoughts with my words, talk about completely different things because. Um. I don't know. I just see games differently and I look at games differently and I think gameplay it's obviously important in how it, like you interact with the game and how it engages you, but I think other things are more important for me when I look at a game. So with Left Behind, first of all, okay, I'm going to say this part first. I was on Reddit the other day <laughs> and someone posted a thing. It was on the front page got all these these upvotes and it was a gif. And the title was, um, I'm so excited for 2014 in gaming or something. And it was just a GIF with all like the title screens of big games that were coming out. And it was Thief, The Order, Metal Gear Solid, Dark Souls, Infamous, all this stuff. And I was just looking at it, I was like, like all these games are different in like what you do and what they're whatever, but they all just looked and to me they all feel so similar. Like they just, they're just male dominated, violent, the stories are probably, well, they're getting better, but you know what I mean? Like, they just feel similar to me. All of those games felt similar. So, okay. when I played The Last of Us, and it was about, like, that feeling of adolescence, which they, like, got in that game so well. It was unbelievable. Like, how you feel as an 11 or 12-year-old, and then how they incorporated it with, um, how everyone feels as a 12 year old and then mirrored it in like an apoc apocalyptic world was unbelievable. And <clears throat> like the scenes, like the scene with Ellie at the arcade game with Riley explaining everything to her. Like I can see on one hand definitely how people are like, oh, this is filler and they're forcing this on me. But it was totally like amazing and it was showing like it was so well showing like how an adolescence would escape from something like that like it was unbelievable it was for me it was an unbelievable experience and then when i want to say one last thing when um so yeah the, just the representations they showed in this game were completely different from all the other ones that will probably come out this year um and then the last thing i wanted to say was i don't think ellie is a lesbian <laughs> i think that it was a game about adolescence and like your brain is crazy at that time in your life like you don't know anything really about yourself and here was like her best friend so even like my best friend at that age if i was losing that person like you you just have crazy emotions at that age and they're amplified in this game because of the situation the world has gone to shit so everything in them is just amplified and they were talking and they're having this really cool intimate moment and she just like she was just in the moment and she just kissed her i think i would do that <laughs> <laughs> like you know what i mean though i don't think she's a lesbian at all really i don't think i think it was brilliant writing and just that's what she would have done right there she didn't know what else to do okay. she didn't know how else to to navigate the situation it was just, oh my gosh, I love Naughty Dog. They're so good. So, if anyone from Naughty Dog is watching this, <laughs> thank you for your contribution and keep, just keep, I just want to see more games show different people. Like, even in The Walking Dead when Lee was black, I was like, sweet. Like, he's black. Like, he's just black. Like, he, he, because he's just black. There's no reason that he's just black. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, okay. What, um... The one thing that I, well, not the one thing, but one thing that I really liked, I didn't really notice what, uh, when you're playing the main game and you're playing as Ellie as much. I feel like it focused on it more in this, where you are, like, really powerless when you're playing as her. Yeah. Like, trying to fight with people. A, with a knife, yeah. Yeah. It was, it threw me off guard when I was, like, you get into the first fight in it. Because yeah. I was, like, still in the mindset, obviously. I hadn't played in a long time, but as Joel, like, being able to charge this guy and, like, fight him, 
So you try to do that with Ellie, and then they just choke you to death. I, I don't know. Yeah. I'm glad they aren't stupid and actually know if there's a difference between a grown man and a little girl. <laughs> yeah. So, like, you have to work your things. Yeah. Although, I, don't know. I just remembered the scene in The Last of Us where Ellie saves Joel from dying. And the first thing she's, like, she was so shocked. And to me, it felt like her first time doing something like that. And she said something like, geez, I shot the hell out of that guy, huh? And like, <laughs> to me, it just felt like the first time she had done that. Yeah. But it's, that's no longer the case. She's been, she's been doing it for a while. What? Because in the Left Behind, you kill a bunch of people. <laughs> yeah, but that's playing in the future. You're only fighting people. No, but she the... fights and she shoots infected and stuff. Yeah, but only when you're playing the. No, that's or not future. true. That's not true. When you're in, when you're in the place with like the electrical water, and the, the wire falls, that's when you're with yeah. Riley. Totally, it's totally when you're with Riley. I think. Am I wrong? I think so. I'm wrong? You think I'm wrong? I, why can't I remember this? I just played it. <laughs> that wouldn't make sense. She wasn't just walking around shooting people. Was she? No. So she, uh, she was getting something for Joel then? Yeah, that was like the first thing you do when you're trying to get uh, something. Okay, okay. Okay, never mind, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I thought, I, thought I had found a, like a plot hole. <laughs> I guess. No, no. Okay. no. They're still okay. good. Woo, they're still good. Anyways, oh, so my yeah. sum up is, I think, yeah, I can see the argument that some things were forced, but I think everything that was forced was beautiful and necessary. So that's my sum up. All right. Sure, I agree. <laughs> I got nothing else to add. All right. Let's just see what they make next. Oh, yeah. Well, they're making Uncharted next. <laughs> Nobody cares about that series anymore, right? <laughs> All right. Well, what are we doing tomorrow? What was that? What was that? What? We're making an extra video. Oh, Thursday. Wow. Amazing. Alright. So, thanks for what joining are, what, us. What? And, um... Wait, what are we doing for tomorrow? Tomorrow we are talking about replayability. Yes, we are. I forgot. <laughs> I remember that as I was mind. saying that sentence. <laughs> so, thanks, thanks right. for joining us. And, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye.